Tato Jessica. I don't pass for nobody. I, feel I am me. Because, beautiful. Yeah, new chapter is like it's it's like my mantra basically. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is there so, a new chapter in your life as far as relationships are concerned? Relationships. Are we dating now? Uh, <laughs> but to speak about you know having my husband as a music business partner. Yeah. That transition was. Terrible. I don't want to laugh. There's a lot of ladies that wanted to be in, in your position at some point when you made the title video. Oh, is it because of Viso? Guys. You were crawling on Viso. Yeah, I have to. You yes. had clothes on Viso's back. Yes. Naked back, by the way. Tell me a story about how for the, for the first four or six months you yeah. were living off of your car, in your yeah. car. Yeah, basically, like I had my wardrobe in my boot, and then I would go shower at my cousin's house, and then sleep at my aunt's house, and then like switch it up, and then go sleep at my cousin's house. Oh, no. He's an amazing host, and host, and he's gonna have many more amazing people on his show. And I just hope that you guys grow with him on his journey. And you know, we never know how big this is gonna get. So yeah. let's just see where you take this. Take this, juice two point oh 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 oh. All right. Kale hitu kamule, hitu kamule le di pino. Benty Hansi. Track is titled Munate Wa Summer. Get a you and I to 1106 on the G2.0. Good morning. How you feeling? Juicy? All right. Say less. We're on it. Gab City, B Dub, Africa, the rest of the world. Good morning and welcome to the Juice 2.0, your favorite show. Now, on the count of three, juicy. One, two, three. Juicy, thank you so much for stopping by. You're amazing. Thank you so much for clicking subscribe. If you're returning, subscribe. If you haven't, do the right thing. Subscribe, click on the like, share, the notification button. So we get you all this juicy content every time that we drop some. All right. Appreciate you so much for 10,400 and something subscribers. You guys are just stars. You're amazing. You're awesome. And for getting me wherever you are, in your house, in your car, in your bedroom, and you're checking us out. Gracia, gracia, gracia. I'm hoping that you're having a beautiful morning. And so then we get to your comments. Let's find out what you've been saying on the content that we've been dropping on your favorite YouTube channel, The Juice 2.0. Starting off with the Scar episode that we posted last week. Yes, last week. Yeah, Scar has almost 7K um, views. So I have an Uba Gang. What's going on, Uba Gang? You say Scar is a legend. I agree with you. And then on the Brando episode, I'm not too sure how many views Brando has. You let me know. Drop it in the comment section. My big brother. I love him so much. This is a composition that we had as soon as he left uh, Yarona FM. And he was getting on to Miss Botswana, being part of the panel and all of that. We caught up and it was such a jump. And I have uh, Kevin who says... Honorable Kinole Hape. Love it, love it. And then on the most controversial video that we have on the YouTube channel. Yo, your guess is as good as um, Tina Wiget. <laughs> well, then your guess is as great as that. Tina Wiget is sitting at almost 43K views on our YouTube channel. I have it to me who says, this is the best episode thus far. Thank you so much. On the Viso View episode, I have a comment who says, big up to you, TK. The first interview I saw was the Scar one after he shared it. I've been hooked since. I'm kicking myself for not catching on sooner, but I'll catch up. You can't spell win without a double V. What a superstar. You know, you can't spell whip without a Viso View. And when you, when you, yeah, when you say that, uh, it just kind of passed, yeah. And on all my, one of my favorite videos and episodes, really, and interviews on the hottest station in the whole world was with Lady of Soul. And I have a sound so, sound so sick. Westbrook, what's going on, sound so sick? Westbrook, how you doing? You simply say the cupcake. Uh, love it, love it, love it. And then on the Scar episode, again, I have it through me who comes back to say, talking of DSPs, DSPs. When will we have the Juice 2.0 on Spotify and Apple Podcasts? I have a lot of people asking me about this. We're working on it, y'all. We're working on it. God's good all the time. All the time, God is good. And then, let's run it up. A few more episodes. William Lost KRM. I'm not too sure how many episodes, how many views, rather, he has. Possibly like 18K. And I appreciate you so much for that. I have a Brian who says, The end, bra is fire. The president of Mulala Land is out. Then followed by that million dollar smile. Love emoji, 100% emoji. Bless up, Mr. President KRM. Love you, dog. A big SOTK and your crew. Bless up, crew. 
We have a message for crew. My creative director is here. Shout out Mr. Tabs. Atang Maseha says, just subscribed. 100%. I always enjoy Scar's interviews. He doesn't sugarcoat facts. Always on point. All right. One more or two more, right? We can do one more or two more. I'm checking out my time right there. Marang Selolo on an episode. I have a permanent dot. What's going on, permanent dot? I've been struggling to find that one podcast to follow in B-Dub. Dang, I'm hooked. Appreciate you so much, man. Stay juicy, all right? Stay juicy, stay juicy, all right? And then on the um, Ani Wame John episode, I have a Miss Buka who says, TK Ui Happy but TK Ui Happy Baton Energy. Thank you so much. Amantle Brown's episode that we posted some two weeks ago. I have a Uduetsi. I was in the same ad math class as her in Lidumang Senior. Amazing human. Oh, look at that. On the ATI episode, Vazemba, Vezemba. Am I doing too much now? <laughs> you know what I just thought? I just thought, you know what? I'm reading all of this, but there's a gentleman who's going to have to now look at the comment, put it out uh, uh, And then I thought, okay, I'm really a nice guy. Am I not? I'm super considerate. Sometimes it's just, uh, terrible, bad, right? But it's all good, man. We're here this morning on the Juice 2.0 with some amazing things that are happening. And by amazing thing, I really mean this young lady in the building who has some... Okay, let me do this properly, all right? Let me do this properly. My guest this final hour of the Juice 2.0 is a seasoned, amazing song singer, songwriter. That's what it is. From the age of 17, I believe, up to now, she's blessed us with about three projects. Fire episodes. Fire projects, by the way, I'm talking about. Fire projects. From the age of 17 until now. And today, this morning, we're blessed. She's grace in the studio, the Juice 2.0, with the latest offering. She's super talented. She's very sensual. And I can tell you this. I really love it when she gets sensual. Oh, my God. I'm like, over here, the Juice 2.0. We love it. We love it. I need you to put your hands together for the one and only. Houston, we got a problem. Tato Jessica. <laughs> Um, I'm folding my hands because I want you to make a proper introduction. Oh. I don't want any games here, you know. About the sensual Respect part? Respect on my name. About the sensual part? Nah, Who's everything part? else. Accolades. Accolades. <laughs> Should I do that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can do that. I can do that. I thought maybe you don't even want to hear all of that. It's nah. like, I'm used to that. <laughs> I can put some respect. Oh, because it's a whole lot of respect we got to put on your name. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. It goes down. It goes down. You guys ready? Okay, let me put some. He's being here. dramatic. <laughs> Tato Jessica. Period. And Botswana singer and songwriter. Yeah. Born in France town. What? Botswana. Be da baby. Bakanyi kwedu. She began music at the age Kalanga. of 17. Kalanga babes. Becoming the only female in the Christian hip hop group Excalibur. Period. In 2016, Tato Jessica, though, went solo and released her first single, Show Me. Show Me. Show Me. Show Me. Show Me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got more? Nah, that's it. That's it? <laughs> she went on to release her first EP, Seasons. Yeah. One of my favorites. And a follow-up rehearsal EP. Yeah. Gosh, from rehearsal EP, we got amazing things Houston, on it. we got a problem. Oh, man. And you Period. got some of the best collabs on it. From which the song Problem, featuring Visa of You, came in 2018. Yeah. Won the award for Best Female Single at the Yarona FM Music Awards in 2019. Yeah, for sure. Bum, bum, bum. For show. Uh, we'll talk about that. We'll talk, <laughs> we'll talk about that. Tato Jessica became one of the top 11 finalists uh, for the Lift As You Rise competition hosted by Red Bull Music and Nasty C, Toll Rex Records. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. This gave her an opportunity to work on an international feature yeah. with Gemini Major. And Rolene. Good times. Dropping them names. Good times. Dropping them names. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Did you actually ask Rolene the famous question that Rolene has ever gotten from everybody? Which is? Didn't she work with Nasty? She on does. That, on that she, song? Which one? And yeah. I fall in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the question that everybody wanted to know, wanted to, was, was asking was, Yo, did you smash Nasty C? Oh, snap. No, I don't do that. Oh, yeah? I'm not intrusive like that. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I wouldn't like, do that. That's your business. Yeah. You let me down so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it, it goes on. It's not, even, it's not even half of what I've just told you. This yeah. one in the building is Thank amazing. You. And you. then you also have rehearsal EP, right? Mm -hmm. She rele released it in 2018, consisting of the single problem featuring Visa View, Addicted, and Freedom. The rehearsal EP singles have topped many radio charts, which is true story, in Botswana. The third project, Live in September EP, features 
Amo Beats as a three-piece work Super producer. <laughs> Amo Beats. He was in the building the other time. Oh, amazing. Lovely dude. His, his, his brother's with KD Bangers. Yeah. I'm close to KD Bangers. So at some point for a long time, I didn't know that the two were brothers. We're brothers. Interesting. Amazing duo right there. Yeah. And uh, we're almost done. We're almost done. Because it's like, oh, how I big mean, can a person be? I mean, it's done. I mean, sh- I could take over. I mean, you can wait. You can. <laughs> you could just ask me the questions. All right. <laughs> All right. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. We got honest there. We got new chapter. Oh, TV appearances. Flavor Dome Morning Live on SABC Two, which was a great interview, by the Thank way. Thank you. I thought I thought that was amazing. They started talking about your husband and all of that. I was like, she, yeah. don't, she don't really want to talk about Ex husband. Can you? Yeah, your ex husband. She don't really want to talk about SABC. Can you relax? I it's mean, a, yeah. but it is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, you will say I mean because it's. A, and then the moment hey, I ask, it's said. <laughs> we'll test it. We'll test. And then morning live SABC two afternoon express SABC three. Right. Morning show ETV the Trace Wick. Africa The Wick. Trace Urban Channel, Channel O BBC Ladies Radio and G- BBC my God. Radio Ladies and gentlemen hey. In case I didn't read his profile <laughs> in the first place and make you applause the right way you needed to have put an applause Put your hands together Put your mother flipping hands together A minute just introducing me Love it <laughs> yeah, that's how it. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you, TK? I'm well. So good to see you. Yeah, awesome to be here. It's been a, it's been a minute. I think the last time I saw you, if I remember correctly, was possibly pre-COVID. Not true. I actually yeah. saw, saw you at a Jordan Muzi's show like two months ago, three months ago. Jordan Muzi. Oh, yeah. over at uh, G North. Yeah, you were there. I was there. Was I? Was I turned? Uh, I would rather not say. Yeah. Oh, I was turned. I was I was super turned. And sometimes when I get super turned and lit, I forget a lot of things. Ah, and then people in the makes morning, sense. people in the morning are like, "Yo, yo, you did this." I'm like, "No, no." Nah. So, how are you genuinely? And I say genuinely because yeah. we never really know. Yeah. Tackle. Man, I'm doing amazing. Yeah. I feel very optimistic. Yeah. I think I came from a very like low space. Now I'm just like, oh my God, I want to rule the world. You know, <laughs> so I feel really amazing. I have new music out. Yep. And, yeah, I'm so like optimistic. I feel very bright and energetic. So yeah. I love it. Zone Fresh music in the building. Tato Jessica is in the building. Please talk to us on 14962. That's the SMS line. Call us on 3956962. She's in the building. One of B Dub's most cherished treasures when it comes to music. 1117 is your time. This time check is brought to you by Silverton Radiators. We'll be back with more Tato Jessica right after this. Oh man, brand new fresh music, Tato Jessica. Check your title count on me. Drop on the 31st of March, 2023, baby. What a lovely track. It's definitely some of that Yano's, man, that you love. 1123 is your time. Text us. Call us. WhatsApp us. The number first, 14962 for your SMS lines. Call us on 3956962 for your WhatsApps. Plus 267-3956962. Remember, as soon as you stop by Tulufelo Park, you get to Joy City where Gad Zeph and the team is selling you the Easter Egg Hunt tickets. You go get them. You go get them. Just stop by and go get them. Or wherever you are, go drive over there. Go get them, all right? Tato Jessica is back in the building. Uh, it's been a few years without speaking, at least in the studio. But she's back with a brand new track. I love it. How, how you feel about your song? I like it. Yeah? I really like it. This was so different for me because I usually go for hip-hop and R&B. Of course. But then this time around, I'm like, you know what, Tato, try something else. And also, I was with like a bunch of people in the studio who were just like, we want you on Ama Piano. Oh, for real? Yeah. So I was like, you know what? Let me prove that yeah. I'm a vocalist and actually jump on this and do well. Yeah. You know, so I, I love it. I love the song. You've never really been pigeonholed into one specific genre of music, have Absolutely. you? Absolutely. I think I've listened to a couple of yeah. interviews that you've had. Yeah. Uh, it used to. It started with hip hop, R and B. Yeah. But it's not to say you're pigeonholed and yes. boxed into that. No, that's very true. I've also done like uh, an Afrobeat song, yeah. and I think that's the one you guys like to play a lot. Of course. Of yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I do play around with like different other genres because right, right. I'm an artist. I'm a creative, and we always like to experiment. So that's what I be doing. Tell me about production. Who is on the production? I know you're working with a. A lot of incredible people lately, yeah? yeah? yeah. Uh, you've dropped some names in a few interviews that I've seen. Mm-hmm. But let me not presuppose this. Who yeah. produced this song? 
So, Mr. Brown produced this one. This is uh, Mr. Brown from Open Mic Productions. Wow. So, he's worked with a couple of international acts, CEO Akon, Lady Gaga, right. Makazi, Master wow. KG. Wow. Uh, so, yeah. So, he's he's quite broad in his, you know, yeah. production style. Yeah. And, yeah, it was an honor to, honor to work with him. So We have a phone call. Put a pin on that. Gabs, are you live on air? PKZ. My brother from another mother. Why I say Rasta? Yo, what's good, man? Hey, man, I, I see you've got Kalanga royalty in the house, brother. You know. Oh. <laughs> Kalanga royalty. Period. Like, like finest, <laughs> finest, man. Talk to her, man. Tato is in the building. Tato Kuchan. Ah, we up. Yeah, but listen, man, I just wanted to call and say, yeah. you know, um, you're doing such a great job, man. With the song, Thank I was you. so glad to hear a little bit of, you know, home, Setuana. Yeah, you know? um, yeah. So keep, keep it real, man. You got to call for the new deal that you just got oh, a couple of weeks ago. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. All right, mommy. Did you say, say? Hey, Siri boss, Siri boss. <laughs> I was just trying to test that. Yo, what is this thing that I saw on TikTok the other time? You're wearing some clothes from Dubai and you're speaking of a... What was that thing? Habibi. Habibi. <laughs> Come to Zenshambe with El Jaha, Baba. <laughs> that's, that's the word. I just saw it. I was like, oh my God, my big brother. <laughs> Yo, I appreciate... you having fun, guys. I appreciate you so much, man. Enjoy the rest of it. Hey. All right, brother. One time. That's, yeah, that's it's my amazing. Big, yeah, so he has to have some time on the show too. I haven't had Lizibo on the show, so we have to make it work. You know Absolutely. what I mean? Absolutely. So speaking of speaking of music that is out now, yeah, uh, Tato, and you move into the Yanos, right? Yes, sir. Is there is there ever like a fear that you might lose a few people that just love you for what you are and what uh. what you are according to them is just like the R and B and the hip hop? Mm. Do you ever feel? Uh, you know what? We'll lose people that we'll lose and we'll gain the people that we'll yeah. gain that love the Yanos. Mm -hmm. Or you just feel like, you know what? If you love me for Tato, the artist, then yeah. you'll vibe to the art that I'm bringing out. Yeah. I mean... TK, I've really changed a lot in my life, yeah. you know, like I've been through a lot of transformations. Right. So I'm kind of like used to, quote unquote, losing people. Right, right. Or just uh, moving from one space of my life to another. And it's not everybody who will travel with me through whatever discovery that I go through, whatever phase that I go through. Yeah. There was my hip hop and R&B phase. There was my gospel phase. Oh, yeah. You know, I also started with house back in the day with Chef Gustos. I remember. You know, yeah. and I think uh, different people have come to appreciate different types of my music so I don't have that fear because for me it's all about transformation and understanding that not everybody is going to join you in your new chapter oh yeah new chapter, new chapter. I, see what you, I see what you did there <laughs> not everybody's going to join you in your new chapter but uh, you just got to keep being yourself because people will only love the authentic parts of you oh yeah you know so that's what I try to keep at the center of everything. I love that. And I, I bet people still love you, whatever you do as an artist, right? Love you guys. They, they will love you. Love your you guys art. too. I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if this is one of your favorite tracks if you were to put new title uh, title and new chapter in yeah. the same vein. If you have Ooh. those if you have count on me, title, new chapter. Yeah. Which one is your favorite? Most favorite. My God, listen, every song is an experience for me. And I feel like if you say, uh, how was the first day of school versus the graduation day? Yeah. Like they're two completely different feelings, of you course, know? Of course. And I think I appreciate all my songs, but for now, because of where I am, I yeah. really love New Chapter. New Chapter is beautiful. Yeah, New Chapter is like it's it's like my mantra basically. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is there so, a new chapter in your life as far as relationships are concerned? Relationships. Are we dating now? <laughs> the last time I nah. checked, you were not dating. Nah. And you, and you I'm were dating my money. <laughs> I'm dating my chelete, <laughs> my D, Zaka. Yeah. yeah. So, so still single? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So the brothers Happily are not... single. The brothers are not, not hitting looking, you up? Not looking, nothing. The brothers are not hitting you up? I mean... You still, we got a problem. <laughs> I mean, niggas always be talking. Yeah? People always be talking. Right, right, yeah. right. But it doesn't happen. It, the, the, the connection is there. 
It's uh, not, it's not, it's I'm it, a very picky person and I've really come to appreciate that I am. So, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I just don't give nobody a chance. Of course. Yeah. I asked I ask <laughs> to ask this next question, right? Yeah. Music for at least the R&B that you would put out yeah. would be mostly appreciated. At least I'll speak for myself. Mm-hmm. If it's R&B that is coming out of a love relationship that is experiential, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? Compared to you looking from the outside inside and you're True. writing music yeah. about a couple, about Jolo and Gab City and Joe Burke, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about that? Experiential love music compared yeah. to writing music about other people? I mean... Even though I'm not in a relationship, it's not like I don't have feelings or Girl, whatever. Do you, do you remember how we used to date? I don't have to be in a relationship. God, TK. Chris, it's been a long time, though. <laughs> Like, and, yeah, because I'm taking my time. You got to learn to take your time. Like, I feel that when it's the right time, it will happen, you know. Like, I don't want to force things. Yeah. I've been there before, you know, where I was just like in a whole situation. Right. And it didn't work out the way that I thought it would. So right. now I'm just taking my time because there's no rush in this. Like, I have so many other things that I want to do. Oh, yeah. And I just feel like that's not a priority for me right now. I feel you. Yeah. You spoke of your early music uh, genre being gospel, among yes. other genres. And you know what? We, we've sat down a lot, and we've we spoken, have. we've bumped into each other, and we've mm-hmm. spoken about that move from gospel, strictly gospel, to yeah. a little bit of this and that. Mm. And I recognize, realize that I've never asked you whether or not there was any backlash from the body of Christ. Ah. I don't think I've ever asked you that. Ah. From the body of Christ, from uh, as it as it pertains to you moving from yes. that to that, was there ever any such thing? You know, one thing I've realized about the church is that anything that's foreign to it becomes yeah. quote unquote demonized. Right, right, right. Um, it's quite unfair because I think the world is way bigger right. than the little circles that we grow up in. I I grew up in the church. I was raised in the well, I wasn't raised. I got saved when I was sixteen, which was pretty much when 16, I was a huh? kid. I think yeah, I was I was younger than that. Were you? Got, were yeah, you? When I got saved? Yeah. Super younger. Crazy. I think I was like twelve or fourteen. Wow. And okay. my salvation that story is crazy. I need to hear. One we'll talk time. about it. We'll talk about it someday. <laughs> yeah. So what I've realized is that like whatever is foreign from the church is yeah. usually like demonized a lot. Right. And I was in there, so I don't blame people. For having a different ah. opinion about what I'm doing. Right, because right, right. I was there too, you know, like I get it. For them, it's like, girl, I thought you were doing this for the Lord, <laughs> you know. And um, just because I have a different uh, revelation or whatever, it doesn't mean I'm going to look at you and just be like, oh my God, oh, they're chastising me. Yeah. No, I get it. I get why they have their opinion and I respect it. Mm. But I don't take it and then I put it on myself and say, oh, no, I'm not I'm not going to do anything because... Pastor Samangman said this. No. Yeah. yeah. I feel you. And then from that, because that was Excalibur in a group setting, right? Yeah. I also had a battle Glory question. Glory days. Glory days. If anybody knew. Huh? I used to low-key. Big things puppy. I used to low-key <laughs> super, super envy you guys. You crazy. Because, because you remember we're in the but same. But you used to be a musician too. What yeah, do you mean? I, I used to. You know, you're a musician. You're in a group. But there's another group that's like really doing it big. Yo, and you guys were performing man. with the Lecrae's, with Bruh. the Endominios. That was the first time I got on stage. Kehakibulela, an American artist. Child. Grammy winning artist. Honest, yeah. And I was there opening for them. That was like life changing. Anyway, continue. I feel <laughs> you. I feel you. So then the group setup happened for you. You definitely have an experience yeah. with groups. I want to ask you whether or not you would do a group ever uh-huh. anymore. But hypothetically yeah. speaking, right? Yeah. If you were to put a few artists, let's say five artists, mm-hmm. B-dub artists mm-hmm. in a group and this group blows up, you're guaranteed that if you put these five people together, yeah. B-dub music, it's kaboom. Who would you put in that group? Mm. From wherever genre, whatever genre. You know, the thing is that there's some people who just do so well shining mm-hmm. on their own uh-huh. that if you put them in a group, it's probably going to dim their light. Yeah. You know? Okay. But if I was to put people in a group, I would personally put myself. One. Bouncy. Bouncy. Yes. I would definitely put Bouncy. She brings such wow. a spicy character and I feel a group needs to have diversity. So dope, dope. I would have Bouncy in there. Bouncy in there. Um, I would also have Priscilla because duh. Yeah. Apparently. You guys kind of sound the same. I love that Apparently. because that's a compliment. Yeah. She's amazing. We're actually in studio. Oh, no. Let me not. Let me not. Let me not tell oh, you Oh, that's guys. a question on let my... Let me not tell you guys. <laughs> let me not. Yeah. So I would put the three of us. Uh-huh. Period. Because obviously Destiny's Child things, you know. Oh, 
<laughs> we don't know who the Beyonce in there would be, but I mean, I'll gladly take Kelly Rowland because I love her. I love Kelly Rowland. Also, the yeah, the hair today and the tone, skin tone, you would pass for a Kelly Rowland. Oh, pass? You no, would, pass I am the Tato Jessica. <laughs> I don't pass for nobody. I, feel I am you. me. I feel <laughs> you. Eleven thirty-five is your time. Let's secure some money. We'll be back right after this. You and I to 11.39 on the Juice 2.0 where I'm chilling with my sister, the very talented, the very, very, very incredibly talented Tato Jessica with a brand new offering, Count On Me, produced by Mr. Brown. It's the latest offering that dropped on the 31st of March. So if you don't have it in your phone, what's wrong with you, though? Like, what's wrong with you? You don't got it, track? I mean... What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? But we played it as soon as we started talking. We're going to play it as soon as we wrap up the conversation. But speaking of conversations, you're in Joburg, South Africa. Yeah. Doing the grinding, the music thing. The jungle. It's a really... A goalie. Jung- describe a goalie for me, dude. Oh, my God. The city of hustlers. The city yeah. where you cannot sleep mentally. You always have to be like this. For real? Yeah. Especially if you're not, like, employed and you're... <laughs> Hustling and you're doing stuff on your own. Right, right, right. You gotta be at the top of your game because, yeah, everybody's out there to make something out of themselves. You're telling me a story about how for the, for the first four, six months, you yeah. were living off of your car, in your yeah. car? Yeah, yeah. Basically, like, I had my wardrobe in my boot and then I would go shower at my cousin's house and then sleep at my aunt's house and then, like, switch it up and then go sleep at my cousin's house oh and then shower at my aunt's house. <laughs> Four or six months. Four to six months. And I was like looking for a place. I was trying to figure out how I was going to run my business. I was trying to get myself back on feet because yeah, I had just yeah. recently got divorced. Oh, yeah. It was like a lot. So it hit me with so much. And it was like straight after COVID. Right, right, So right. there was like still a little bit of a lag in the economy mm. and things were not moving as quickly. So yeah. Sheesh, yeah. man. I can't imagine that. And when you're going through all of this hippity hop, hip up, mm. you're living and sleeping in your car. Not what? sleeping in my car. Live, living, living, living off, off of my car. Living off of your car. Yeah. I need to get that real straight. Cause, Thank you. Because, yo. Facts. But what is, going on, what is going on through your mind at this period? Are you thinking, mm. maybe let's just go home. You know what I mean? Or uh, we got to keep pushing whatever comes. Man. You know, it's actually funny because at that time when it was so chaotic, I was the most focused because I knew exactly what I wanted and why I came here, you know. But then eventually when I got my place and then I started to get get a bit comfortable, I started now feeling like I want to go home, you know, because I was getting uncomfortable. I don't know. It's weird, but I I do so well in chaos. Like within the chaos, I find my focus and I just like go in there. Obviously, there's been like difficult times when I'm just like, what the hell am I doing? But I just I never had the thought of giving up. You know, it only came later on as, you know, closer and closer as I got to my deal and, you know, my house, my apartment and all that. So, yeah. But, I mean. You you make it work. You make it work. Yeah. So, are you signed to anyone or? Yes. I'm signed to Open Mic Productions. There we go. There we go. How long is the relationship so far? So, it's a project-based relationship, meaning that it's based on the amount of projects that I do for them, of which I cannot disclose. Of course. But I did sign my deal January 12th. And yeah, I'm super excited. Like these January guys are 12th, 2023. 2023. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Brava. Thank brava. You. That's beautiful. I'm <laughs> yeah. happy for you for that. Thank you so does much. It, does it work for you so far? Does it not? So the real deal mm-hmm. is that when you get signed into a record label, so even though you guys might know me in Botswana, in South Africa, I'm just like one of the hundreds and millions of upcoming Don't artists. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Time. God's, yeah. time. God's timing is the best. Exactly. Yeah. So when you go into the record label, you have to work your way up because for them to pop up money, you need to show that you're worthy of it, you oh, know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So the competition also is... Stiff. The, yeah. The stiffest. Yeah. And it's not like you guys are competing against each other. No, you're actually competing to blow up, <laughs> ah. you know, because that's how you're going to get funded for your other projects and right. all of that. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, I think I think it's a beautiful story. Your story when it comes mm-hmm. to moving from B Dub to South Africa to do because a lot of things, a lot of people yeah. try to do that, but mm-hmm. most people come back because it's really hard. And as yeah. you explained it, the first couple of months were hard for you. Mm-hmm. Speaking of things being hard, Tato, mm-hmm. I think I've seen somewhere you have said that because your ex husband was part of your music, yeah, part of your production team. here, here and yes. there, team and all of management that, management as well, management as well, yeah. And then the divorce happens. Mm. Did music become harder to make or you just mm. kind of swarm your way out uh, around it wow you know 
the beautiful thing about my music is that it's always tied itself to every experience that I've had. Dope. That's how New Chapter was born. Dope, dope. You know, it was during my healing process when mm-hmm. I was like, what the hell is going on? And I just decided to write a song to my future self to say, this is who I'm going to be. Mm-hmm. You know, so I think music has always been a part of like my journey and everything. Right. Uh, but to speak about, you know, having my husband as a music business partner, yep. that transition was Terrible. I don't want to lie. It must have. I can imagine. It was that. horrible, guys, because first of all, I was, first of all, I didn't know how much sport I was. Um, he used to do a whole bunch of things Everything that I took for, for granted. Yeah. yeah. He took a, like, he took on, on a lot of responsibilities. And I do thank him for that because right. I don't think I would be where I am without his help, oh, you know? Yeah, oh, yeah. But yeah, it was tough. I don't want to lie. Tell me, tell me about, <laughs> tell me about, tell me about, uh, because obviously some of us have never been married, right? Yeah, yeah. I look forward to it. Yeah. Honestly, same, speaking, same. I, I really want to get married. Yeah. But when you get married and then you get divorced, mm. do people still talk to you? you? Guys, still hit each other up like, "Yo, what's good? How's life?" Blah blah blah. Uh, I well, he didn't want that, so I respected it and ah. I just kept my distance because oh, yeah. I, I mean, people deal with situations differently. Of course, of yeah. Course. So I respected that he didn't want to yeah. communicate. Yeah. So I was like. Had he wanted the opposite, you would have been okay with just still hitting each other up? I don't know. I okay. guess we'll never know. You never know, right? <laughs> we'll never right? know Cause, now. Cause, 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 like, it's not happening. Yeah. But <laughs> do things just kind of, you know, stumble on? Do you stumble on things on social media? It's like, oh, he found another one. Oh, he's married. Oh. I don't care. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> but, but Like, you, to put it simply. Yeah. Because I think at some point level like once you've left that situation i'm the kind of person who when i move on i move on like you know i'm not like i'm not always like oh what if what if yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, but like i hope he's happy though of course of course and at the end of the day people also come to you and ask you a few questions about marriage yeah does that happen a lot people asking you for marriage advice only and people who knew that i was married okay yeah oh yeah yeah and when they ask for advice what do you give as advice depending on the question um, obviously um yeah well depending on the question but yeah. what i usually say is that people should look forward to marriage i don't regret getting married oh yeah even though it ended because people say it failed but i'm just like uh no it, it ended, ended. Ah. you know just like how when you start something you can finish it means it has done its purpose in my life ah. you know i think that the other thing that we also need to accept is that there's going to be ups and downs yeah. and highs and lows in life but we have to learn how to pick ourselves up through whatever so marriage is a beautiful thing i keep saying guys if you want to get married it's heck amazing. i want to get married again oh, yeah? that was beautiful like the partnership is incredible yeah. like it takes such a load off of your life yeah. to have somebody helping you and working with you for a future so you want to you still want to do it absolutely hey tato will you marry me uh no Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, just just check it. <laughs> just just check it. Just check it. Wait, what's that? What's that? What's all of that? Nah, because why? Because I'm proposing. I don't even know you like that, man. I'll, I'll be a good dude. Listen, I, I I know enough about marriage to know that you have to take your time. Ah, yeah. of course. You of have course. to like be patient and really learn. Yeah. You know. Let yeah. me get let me get you this phone call. Gather from you live on the air. Say, how are you? My brother, I am highly favored, blessed, and super great. How are you? I'm fine. Kim Manko Kai. You can you can talk to her. You can you can talk to her. There. <laughs> But <laughs> 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 All right, thank you so much. Uh huh. You- Basically, he's saying, "What you gonna do about people that cheat?" I don't know. Okay. What you gonna do? Yeah. I don't know, guys. I think that you know, man, it's life. It's life. These things happen, and the best thing that you can do for yourself is just do better. Date people who don't cheat. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's uh, gather yeah, for me live. We got another call. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hey, how you doing? 
So there's the other day that you have a duty waiting in your life, and now you are proposing on air. Who is who am I to, who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? Refilwe. Ma? Refilwe. Refilwe. Yes. Repeat repeat the question for me Refilwe. <laughs> what did she say? She's like TK, you have a to do with tongue in your life and now you're proposing on air to Tato. Why? Imagine. I'm like referred. She's probably shout one out of to Dudu Etang. She's so beautiful, oh, by yeah. the way. I oh, love yeah. her. I actually follow her on TikTok. Oh, you do? Yeah. With all that do do do. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's my one. Refilo, <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. This is all work, okay? Refilo. Yeah, they, they must do this. In case I disappoint Refilo, Refilo, don't worry. about <laughs> They must do this. I love your listeners. I love them. Keeping me all accountable Period. and all of that. Refilo, yeah. I love you so much. Thank you for that phone call. Anyway, let's talk about. We have a few minutes. So can you believe a few more minutes and then we're out of here? Okay. Look, the move to South Africa is great. Yes. But I was looking at it right, mm -hmm. and I thought for a second, you know what? Beat up music right now. Yeah. Right after COVID. Mm. There's a buzz, mm. you know? There's mm. a buzz beach or Jordan's beach or Datto's yeah. beach or the crew. Your yes. crew, yeah. right? My crew. Your crew. Yeah. It's a, wait, what was it? <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Continue. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wait. <Where that? laughs> so, well, quote unquote, your crew. Yeah. There seems to be a lot of buzz. They're booked mm -hmm. left, right, and center. Yeah. I see Jordan on flyers. I yeah. see Datto. I see Banty. I see Vizo. Yeah. The crew. Yeah. Does that ever cross your mind that possibly the move to South Africa was mm. premature, especially if you have to fight uh, to blow up? Contradistinguished uh, to a I place where, like that question. yeah, contradistinguished mm. to a place where you are tattooed here in Gab City yeah. and beat up. If you're here, you definitely be possibly busy every weekend. Yeah. Does that ever happen in your mind when you're looking at yeah. here? Um, I love that question because it also brings light to how people build yeah. in their careers. Right, right. I feel everybody's building differently. Right. I'm building differently because I also run a creative agency. Oh. So I took a year to build my business. Right, you know, right, I just right. literally did my annual returns a few weeks ago. Uh oh. So I'm doing my thing. And making sure that I don't leave architecture behind, making sure that I don't leave design and creative directing ah. behind. So the reason why I understand my journey and I appreciate the pace that I go at right. is because I have a vision for what I want to accomplish. Yeah. So I know a lot of people know me just as a musician, yeah. but I do a lot of things. I'm a qualified architect. I run my own creative agency. And that takes a lot of work behind the scenes where That's people right. don't see you, where people are just like, oh my gosh, she's not getting booked. I mean, I'm I want to get booked. I want to be on stage and perform. I love this stuff, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. But also what I've come to realize is that God yeah. also puts seasons in your life for you to build certain things. And then once you're done, you move from that to the next thing. Same thing when I was in Excalibur, I was doing school and also touring with music. Music at the same yeah, time. Yeah, and that's has been a pattern in my life and I've really come to appreciate it because I'm unique, I'm different and I love this shit. I, I love, love it. this. Stuff. I love it. I love it. One of those good days you and I should have a second conversation and just talk about a lot of things that we needed to talk about yeah. but still just didn't have enough time. Uh, one of which, let me squeeze it in. Mm -hmm. Family. How's family doing when you come oh, down to B-Dub? Amazing. How's, how's family? I love my family so much. Yeah. Um, my family is like a farming family. I know. So. I know. That's <laughs> what I'm asking. It's a lot of people. Yeah. It's a lot of people. It's a yeah. lot of kids. Do they, do they like try to stretch each other to see you and just someone is calling you over and Listen, the other one is every weekend is are you home I'm coming to your place oh. are you home so I'm always hosting my siblings and oh, you know yeah, I yeah, love yeah. I love having them around but also being home is great because my mom she's amazing. amazing she literally like she taught me to be the quote unquote entrepreneur that I am so that's beautiful. I love being home Yeah, that's beautiful last question and I mm -hmm. ask this to every person that I get to get the blessing of you know chatting with on the show yes, because sir. Life is spiritual, by the yeah. way. So you were supposed to be here not two years ago, not a year ago, mm -hmm. but here today. Today, right so now. So I treat people that I meet as a spiritual encounter. Yeah. So what do you want out of life, Tato Jessica? Hmm. I want to have my creative gifts impact the world. Mm. That's what I want. Mm. I want go. my self-expression to change somebody else's life. Like every time I write a song, I want a song that is going to either make you feel better, uplift yeah. you. Yeah. Anytime I design a home, I want a home that's going to make you feel secure and comfortable. Right. Anytime I have an event, I want you guys to enjoy the create. So I want to express myself creatively and that's my number one priority in life is just to be myself 
I express that. myself creatively. Yeah. And that's crazy. Well, I say, I say it was the last time. Pardon me, mm. but last question, rather. Yeah. Um, hearing you talking about you want your gifts to do this and that for the yes. person that listens, mm. I then wondered is what does that for you? Mm. Right? Because it's a, yeah. well, pouring is great. Yes. But who is pouring Back in your me. life and what does that for you? Mm. Beautiful. Because what I like, what makes me fulfilled is seeing the faces of people when they react ah. to my work and just having that connection and somebody saying new chapter was like, the thing that took me out of the pits, you yeah. know, for me, that brings so much fulfillment because I think as a child, I had been like through so much and I wished that somebody would have been there for me. And now I want to do it for other people because somehow I found the strength inside of me to pick mm. myself up. And I'm like, for people who can't, I'm going to do it for you. Something so it gives me so strong. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you yeah. on that. I feel you on that. It's a lot of ladies that wanted to be in your position at some point when you made the time video oh is it because of visa guys you were crawling on visa yeah i have to you yes. had clothes on visa's back yes naked back by the way yes you were not naked no you were lingerie lingerie i was lingerie no but it's not like he was naked he was wearing like a short yeah he was he was up up naked he was top naked yeah. he was yeah, yeah a lot of ladies wanted to be in that position how did it feel touching or touching on visa views back Okay, listen, man. Vizo and I. It felt just... good, didn't it? Ah, girl, you gotta admit it. It felt good, didn't it? <laughs> that's a that's a pause for awkward, <laughs> awkward. So this is, the, this is the awkward turtle right here. Oh my god! That's how you do the awkward. Turtle. Anyway, anyway. So what I wanted to accomplish with title is to actually give people that impression. Like I wanted it to be sensual for that reason. Ah. You know, the song is saying you just want to make things about, you know, yeah. instead of talking about, talking about emotions and talking about things that actually matter. I feel you. So the reason why people stay in such situationships is because homonati in the. Blankies, you know? <laughs> so we needed to show that. We needed yeah. to show that so that people can understand this is why you are staying in that toxic place. You I know? feel you. Yeah. I feel you. My sister, such an honor for me. Thank such a pleasure you. to see you. You're not in town for a long time, yeah? Yeah. I'm here for good time, not a long, long time, time, you know. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. right? Drinky. Yeah. Um, when do you leave for Joburg? Uh, in a couple of days. But I don't want to be specific because people are weird. Okay. <laughs> Also, yeah. what we didn't get to talk about is Priscilla and the works. Something yeah. is happening, yeah? Yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah. cool. When can we expect it? Um, I can't say can't and say I can't yeah. promise, but okay. soon. I love that. Yeah. God bless you. Thank you. Until I see you again next time. Alrighty. God bless your craft. Cheers. Tato, Jessica, Houston, we got a problem. Let's secure some money, some bag, and then we play the song one last time. Dropped on the 31st of March, 2023. Track is simply titled, Count On Me, and you can count on her. You can also count on me every Saturdays and Sundays to rock your world and keep you all juiced up. All right, the Easter egg hunt. Gab's up from baby. That's what's happening. What's going on, YouTube? My name is TK of the Juice 2.0. I'm just here to say thank you very much for checking our video and click subscribe, like, and the notification button for more content just like that.